Welcome everyone to another overrated review, the most overrated reviews on all of YouTube. And casual, by the way. I am Bradley Overrated. Today's game, Near Automata, and oh my goodness, what a game, what a game. Let's talk about it. So the story of Near Automata is an interesting one. The aliens have invaded Earth, Earth has been defeated, thousands of years have passed, and now humans are relying on the use of androids to go down to Earth and basically fight their battles for them. Because glory be to mankind, and mankind needs help to reclaim Earth. It seems like a pretty straightforward plot, but it's not. And without being able to spoil anything else in the game, I refuse to discuss it further. But suffice it to say, it's an amazing story. One with not one, not two, not three, but 26 possible endings. That's right, you heard me. 26 endings that you can acquire with only five of them being actually critical and relevant to the story. But if you collect all 26, you will see some very humorous endings. And I do recommend you at least try to get a few of them. But I'm going to absolutely recommend you play through the entire game at least until you get those five main endings. Because you see, that is the joy that is near Automata. If you just want to play through the game once, you'll spend roughly about, I'd say, 10 to 20 hours, depending on how much you want to do and explore and how much you want to take your time with. But if you want to unlock more awesome, cool things and continue with the story and unlock more endings and progress so you can actually understand everything that is going on in the world, then you'll have to play the game over and over again, and I promise you it sounds repetitive and redundant, but it's not. They do a lot of things to mix it up, including adding more tougher challenges, more unique enemies, even more playable characters that you can use. This game continues to reward you the more time you put into it, and it has an amazing ending at the end of it all. All your effort will be justified and paid off, and you have to be willing to sacrifice everything to get there. But man, what a journey and what a ride Nier Automata was once I finally did it. The story in and of itself is worth the $60, but the best thing about it is the gameplay is also fantastic. Tubi is my girl. This girl is a bamf, man. She is a serious Bamf. For an android, I've never fallen in love with an android before, but this girl kicks some you-know-what. And she has captured my heart, and it could be the excellent voice acting, it could be the stupendous cutscenes, it could be just the fact that when I play as her, or like I said, the other playable characters, not going to spoil anything, that they all are unique in their own way and have their own style, but I just love everything about this game. The only criticism, and it's a small criticism, is that the world itself can be a little bare at times, especially if you're wandering through the desert, but then again, that's arguably understandable. I mean, after all, it is a desert, right? I wouldn't expect it to just be flourishing and vibrant, so yeah. I mean, even the side quests are great. The longer you play the game and you replay the game, you get more interesting and challenging side quests. And those side quests will tell you more about the story and the side characters and who they are and what their purpose is. And it just continues to reward you and to encourage you to keep trying your best to achieve every single thing in the game. The more you put in, the more you get rewarded. And I love it. I absolutely love the way they handled this game. And don't even get me started about the boss fights. This is just... Whew, these are some of the best boss fights I've encountered in a long time. Platinum Games always finds ways to make the most thrilling boss fights, and Nier Automata is no exception to that rule. Every single boss fight is engaging, and they are not afraid to hit you with some serious power. Be prepared to die a lot, but dying is actually part of the experience, and kind of encouraged even in this game. So all of it, even dying, has its own rewards. I mean, I wish I could tell you that feeling of having all of this fast-paced action going out around you and the way it switches things up, how you can just go from 2D combat to 3D combat, from aerial fights and all of this chaos surrounding you, then to just take a chill pill, be looking out at the vast city with this gorgeous, drop-dead, amazing, holy cow, I can't believe this is a soundtrack of a soundtrack and it just takes you for a moment and just makes you feel like this world, despite all of its brutality, has so much serenity at the same time. 
It should come as no surprise that I think Nier Automata is this beautiful masterpiece of a game with the only drawback being the world environment sometimes being a little bit empty and there are some invisible walls that you'll run into if you're into exploring the entire map like I am. But those are so trivial in this game because at the end of the day this game is just perfect for so many people and I can see why this is so many people's favorite game of all time. So I am of course going to give Nier Automata for the PlayStation 4 an A. This isn't just one of the best PlayStation 4 games you could ever play, this is one of the best games you could ever play, ever. Kudos to Square Enix and especially kudos to Platinum Games for delivering this piece of video game excellence, man. It is awesome, so go try it if you haven't. If it ever comes on sale, you have no excuse to not buy it. And as always, guys, this concludes my overrated review. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you played this game, what you thought of Nier Automata, and I will see you on the next one. I am Bradley Overrated, out like a trout, and glory be to mankind.